What's up, extreme kids of Ottawa and around the world? This is First Lady Kay, and this is your midweek story time with our Veggie Tales Bible Storybook. I am so thankful that you can be with us today, and I hope that you're enjoying this as much as I am. This week, we are going to be reading the story of Flibber. Uh, Olu, Flibber Olu, what a funny name. This is what Larry has to say. Hi there, today I saw two bikes crash smack right into each other. It was a disaster, but what could I do? First of all, I'm a busy guy. I have dance lessons and hairbrushes to find. There's my yodeling, my duckies, and don't forget that I'm a pirate who doesn't do anything. Oh, yes, and my Cebus. So how can I possibly help them? I'm way too busy. Junior had the answer. He remembered a very special story. So here... We go extreme kids. In a town to the west called Flibber Olu, they thought they were the best because they wore a big shoe. But those to the east in Gibber de Lot agreed with those folks and instead wore a pot. Tie a shoe headed boy and his blue plastic friend. Sorry, Till, a shoe-headed boy and his blue plastic friend, went for a walk down a slope round a bend. And three shifty crooks jumped out from a rock. They knocked off his shoe and they knocked off his sock. But the thing they did next was extremely unfunny. Why? They shook him so hard that he dropped his milk money. But they didn't care. They'd accomplished their goal, so they put our friend down, stuck his head in a hole. Oh, extreme kids, this is horrible. Things looked pretty grim for our Flibian buddy, his head in a hole, his shoe bent and muddy. But then were these footsteps oh could it be true along came the mayor of flibber olu oh dear said the mayor observing the shoe a fellow in need and is flibian too i'm very important i'm noteworthy too why i'm the mayor of flibber olu i seem to have fallen i seem to be stuck said the flibian boy well I guess I'm in luck. Then a Flibian doctor said, Out of my way. I have things to do. I simply can't stay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it was dreadful. How could they desert their Flibian friend with his head in the dirt? That's it. Then I'm finished. I'll die here down under. If they would not help me, then who would, he wondered. Then the boy with the pot saw our friend with the shoe. Oh, look, he exclaimed. He's from Flibber Olu. He looked at our friend and he looked at the shoe. And then in his heart, he knew what to do. He may be Flibian, Flibian that's plain to see. But God made him special, just like he made me. So he got him unstuck, and he picked up his shoe, and together they walked back to Flibber Olu. They went to a doctor quite shocked by his pot. The Flibian friend was from Gibber de Lot. The boy with the pot paid the cucumber's bill. The Flibians? They were touched by his good will. If this little guy can take care of his brother, why can't we all try to help one another? So today, if you visit the mountains of Flibber, you won't see a shoe or a pot. Instead, they throw flowers and candy to nibble. Oh, I bet you'd like it a lot. I know I would. I love candy. This story that our 
little asparagus friend told us about says God wants us to help our neighbors. Isn't this true extreme kids? It doesn't matter if we're busy or have other things to do. That's why Jesus told a story might like much like this one. It's called the Good Samaritan. Are you ready? We're going to read the Good Samaritan from the book of Luke chapter 10 verses 30 to 37. Maybe you can find it in your Bible with me. Jesus said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Robbers attacked him. They stripped off his clothes and beat him up. Then they went away, leaving him almost dead. Oh, no, boys and girls. A priest happened to be going down that same road. When he saw the man, he passed by on the other side instead of helping. A Levite came by. When he saw the man, he passed by on the other side too. But a Samaritan came to the place where the man was. When he saw the man, he felt sorry for him. He went to him, poured olive oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them up for him. Then he put the man on his own donkey. He took him to an inn and he took care of him. Isn't that good, extreme kids? The next day, he took out two silver coins and he gave them to the owner of the inn. Take care of him, he said. When I return, I will pay you for any extra expenses you may have. Which of the three extreme kids do you think was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by robbers? Hmm, big question. The authority on the law replied, The one who felt sorry for him, Jesus told him, Go and do as he did. Wow, Junior Asparagus did a really good job, didn't he? Thanks, Junior. We all need to be reminded that God wants us to love our neighbors. We all have other stuff we want to do, but loving each other is the most important thing. So Junior and I scrounged around and found some bike tires, a couple of wrenchers, and even an unopened box of chocolate cookies. <gasps> We're headed over to help those guys who had the big bike crash. Isn't that good, boys and girls? We can love each other by following God's lead because, do you remember? (gasps) That's right. God made you so very special and he loves you so very much. And who else loves you? That's right. First Lady K loves you. Let's do our memory verse. John, the book of John, chapter 13, verse 34. Here we go. I, can you point to your eyeball? Give you a new command. Can you pretend like you're giving something to someone? And then we're going to hug ourselves and say, love one another. You must love one another. Again, another big hug. Two hugs. Just as I, we put it to our eye, have loved you. And we're going to point, we're going to serve again like we're giving somebody a big plate of love. Isn't that wonderful? Let's do it again, boys and girls. I, can you point to your eye? Give you a new command. And we're going to serve the new command on a big plate love one another one big hug get ready for the second one you must love one another another second big hug just as I we point to our eyeball have loved you and we're going to serve love on another really big plate that was really good let's see if you can remember it all by yourself here we go I give you a new command. Love one another. You must love one another just as I have loved you. Good job, extreme kids of Ottawa and around the world. That is the book of John, chapter 13, verses 13, uh, sorry, chapter 13, verse 34. 
So this is First Lady K signing off. I want to let you know if you memorize your verse and video yourself with doing the actions, you'll get a special prize in the mail. Be sure to email that video at ottawachurchkids at gmail.com. Also, if you do something as a good neighbor to someone in your community, be sure to let me know what you did and you'll also get a prize in the mail and be sure to send us that information at ottawachurchkids at gmail.com. Thank you, Ottawa Church Kids, for being with us this week. Remember who loves you, First Lady K and Jesus. I hope we're able to see you next week, and I can't wait to hear from you at ottawachurchkids at gmail.com. Mwah!